how to take the SIM card out of your iPhone, slice it down the little itty bitty pieces, and then throw it inside the iPad 3G. Now you should be able to do this with any GSM carrier that has a data plan. Um, on the site right now we have, um, we took a T-Mobile card, we sliced it down and put it in there. So if you're from another country, and you have more than, you know, two carriers, you have carriers whose uh, 3G network actually works with the iPhone, this is actually pretty cool because Apple sends out the iPad 3G, it's unlocked. So it's not tied to any carrier, even though it comes with an AT&T SIM card. So now we have it in there. This is our original iPad. Let's hold on to that for right now because eventually you might want to use it. Don't throw us away. Move our stuff out of the way. And now the moment of truth. Just throw it in there. We have our SIM card in. We see we have bars with AT&T. Let's turn off Wi-Fi really quick. Let's go to our cellular data, make sure the APN settings are correct, and they are broadband. If you throw in an AT&T SIM card inside of your iPad, it should be broadband all over case. If you throw in any other um, carrier's uh, SIM card into your iPad, you should double check. You can do a search online. It's actually quite easy to find that information. Let's load up Safari. <coughs> So we tried putting an iPhone SIM into the iPad, and we failed. That's all. <laughs> the, the problem is, is that when you place, because even though the iPad is unlocked, it still recognizes the AT&T SIM, and when you throw a new AT&T SIM in there from your iPhone or from anywhere else, it automatically wants you to create an account, uh, a data ac account, which we don't want to do because we already have an account on that iPhone um, SIM. So we took it out, we put the, you know, we put the AT&T one back in there, and you know it's working fine once again, thank God. And we also, you know, if you, if you check out the site, we also have a how-to and how to cut down a T-Mobile SIM. Now T-Mobile is, a, you know, it's not going to work on 3G, it's going to work on the Edge network. But if you're, you know, going to another country or let's say you have a T-Mobile phone and you want to cut it down and use an adapter to, you know, be able to put it back in your phone, you can save yourself a little bit of money. We don't know how that's going to work with your, uh, the people who run T-Mobile knowing that their SIM card is being dragged around everywhere. But hey, it's out there, it's uh, information for you, and, you know, it's good to know. AT&T, on the other hand, kind of disappointing. Kind of a lot of people are wondering, hey, can we throw the our iPhone SIM cards into a iPad? And yeah, so the, the kind of quick and dirty answer is no, unless you want to, you know, keep switching accounts back and forth. I suppose, which sounds like a really bad idea.